pitiful humans. War, segregation, hatred. Is that what you've done with your free will, boy? Don't you lecture me with your $30 haircut. Goku dies. We'll see you, Red Ribbon Redneck. You know what's funny about the future? You're nowhere to be seen. You're not in the future because you die right here and now today. <laughs> Have you ever wondered about the real Android 13, the one that truly canonically existed within the Dragon Ball universe? Well, to answer your question, in today's video we will discuss this. And the first thing that we will talk about is one manga snippet, which is literally the only explanation that we've ever had about the canonical version of Android 13. And basically, as you can see on your screen right here, it was explained that versions 9 through 15 of Dr. Jiro's androids were defective in some type of way, but 13, 14, and 15 were close to perfection, which, if you realize that there's actually a Super Android 13 movie, you would see that these androids were selected to be in that movie specifically, which would make logical sense, because if they're close to perfection, then they would be good enough to fight against our heroes in the movie adaptation. And the interesting thing about this is that this brings up a lot of questions about what actually happened to Android 13. And to be completely honest with you, here are what we can probably break down from this. If we listen to Trunks' quote at the beginning of the video, we can clearly debunk his statement where he says, you die right here and right now because based off of the timing of when those androids showed up and also based off of Gohan's age, because if we look at what Gohan looks like in Super Android 13, he's before going into the Room of Spirit in time. So as a result of that, the timing wouldn't have made sense for Trunks to say that you die right here and right now because in his future timeline it was only 17 and 18 that basically ravaged his future and he had no knowledge of androids 19 and 20 being Dr. Jiro. Even though that's kind of a retcon because originally in the manga Trunks said androids 19 and 20 but then this whole show completely retcon androids 19 and 20 to being two different teenagers because Toriyama was essentially told to change it because he didn't want an old man and a fat clown to be the main villains. So the only logical way that those androids would have been killed is if 17 and 18 just killed them out of boredom because it's like, hey, there's nothing else. Why don't we just kill these weaker models? So we can clearly debunk Trunks' statement in that movie because it really makes absolutely no sense. But what we can do is we can actually talk about the fact that 17 and 18 would have been stronger than these androids and the proof of this directly would be that if we look at the manga once again we can see that 17 and 18 were clearly meant to be stronger because of the fact that it said specifically that an emphasis was placed on 17's power and when you consider the fact that 18's power was only reduced in relative to 17's power then clearly 17 and 18 must have been way above what 13 14 and 15 clearly were and this brings up a lot of different questions because in the movie Super Android 13 in the very beginning, you can see Dr. Jiro being killed in a very similar manner to what happened in the story that we see, with some exception. Obviously, we don't see the other Z fighters in front of the androids in front of the door because this was completely hidden, and we just see Dr. Jiro being killed in a very similar fashion. So this brings up a big question. What happened to the androids, and specifically what happened to Android 16? So essentially, this movie becomes a what if, and to be more specific, this movie actually makes more sense to be another timeline, and to be specific, this would be the Unseen timeline. Now, without going into timeline shenanigans, even though there's like four confirmed original timelines, and then there's seven when you factor in all of the changes that Dragon Ball Super made, but without turning this entire video into a huge timeline explanation, the Unseen timeline is essentially the original timeline that was attempted to be fixed by the original Future Trunks that was killed by Cell. And obviously, it sounds a bit confusing because our version of Future Trunks was killed by Cell too, but the version of Future Trunks that Cell killed and took its time machine. That Future Trunks went to another timeline to obviously try and fix history, because he clearly couldn't have been our future trunks because our future trunks went back to the future and killed Cell. So, that timeline that that original future trunks went to was known as the Unseen Timeline. And it's implied heavily that basically that version of future trunks did not kill the androids by being stronger than them, but he used a shutdown device to basically get rid of them. Which essentially means that in this specific timeline, Future Trunks and the others used an alternate method to get rid of 17 and 18 instead of directly fighting them. 
And this makes a lot of sense because if Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks were all struggling to beat Androids 13, 14, and 15, then it would make logical sense that they themselves wouldn't have been strong enough to fight against 17 and 18. But 17 and 18 aren't around, so that basically limits our options into how this movie would have kind of changed the events. On one hand, 17 and 18 changed due to their nature and simply did not care about killing our Z fighters. They fought Goku and the others, beat them up, but then just left them alive and flew around Earth to just essentially be bandits, but not necessarily the evil androids that we saw in the future timeline. The other explanation is that, like we said before, our heroes used the shutdown device to actually kill them. Now, this wouldn't feel very canonical because... Knowing Goku, he clearly, obviously, would want to fight these androids, and the same goes for Vegeta. It doesn't seem in character for them to want to use a shutdown device, but if the androids were that powerful, and if this is probably the unseen timeline, where they used an alternate method, then the shutdown device actually makes more sense. And the thing that we have to remember about Android 16 is that Android 16 basically changed the nature of 17 and 18, because he fixated them on trying to kill Goku, but because Cell eventually showed up, the androids essentially became allies, kind of similar to Vegeta teaming up with Krillin and Gohan on Planet Namek, where it's like, we're enemies, but Cell's a bigger threat than we are to each other, so why don't we team up? And that's essentially how 17, 18, and 16 were changed in the present timeline. In all likelihood, it wouldn't make logical sense for Android 16 to have existed in this particular version, very similar to what we saw in the future timeline, simply because of the fact that 16's much stronger than 17 and 18 himself, and to our knowledge, there's no shutdown device to stop him, and if things got really bad, he can completely blow himself up to stop Goku if he really wanted to, which ultimately means that in all likelihood, 16 never existed in this scenario, and it was really just 17 and 18, which would tie into the unseen timeline where Trunks had an alternate way to defeat the androids, other than going into the room of spirit in time and getting a whole lot stronger. This means that Cell never showed up in the unseen timeline because this Cell went to the main timeline, and in the future you will see a redone explanation on how all of this makes sense. But the point we're trying to talk about is that this what-if scenario is basically a situation where there's no Cell, there's no Android 16, and our heroes found an alternative way to defeat the androids, but they clearly weren't stronger than the androids because they were struggling to defeat weaker androids. And, essentially, the movie plot in itself is basically a backup plan, where the lesser models in 13, 14, and 15 attempted to kill Goku for unforeseen reasons. And in all likelihood, it's due to the fact that 17 and 18 were essentially disobedient because of their free will, and because they failed to defeat our heroes, Dr. Jiro's computer essentially created these lesser models to attempt to finish the job itself. And for all of these reasons, that's essentially where the movie existed. It's basically, in all likelihood, in the unseen timeline, and it's also in a situation where, because 17 and 18 had an alternative way of dying, and because 17 and 18 failed to kill Goku, the lesser models were basically a last resort in attempting to finish the job. But this leaves us with one ultimate question, and the reason why you decided to watch this video in the first place. And this is, what happened to the original Android 13? Well, considering the fact that the manga doesn't give us any direct details, if we take a direct look at the fact that they were close to perfection, in all likelihood, Dr. Jiro just never really had any use for them if he himself completed the original Androids 13, 14, and 15, because they were simply just inferior models, which he improved when he created Androids 17 and 18, which he further improved himself when he created 19 and 20 himself, basically, because of the fact that they were much more obedient than the 17 and 18 models. And simply because of the fact that 13, 14, and 15 were close to perfection but were quite not perfect, he probably felt in all likelihood that they weren't good enough for combat, and especially because of the fact that they were weaker than 17 and 18, he simply just never had any use for them, so he most likely destroyed them on his own, simply because of the fact that they were basically useless models because he had better models in the future. So with everything said and done, that is the most logical way to explain what happened to the original Android 13. But while we're on the subject of the androids, check out What If Goku Killed Dr. Jiro and Listened to Bulma, What If Android 18 Never Married Krillin, and How Future Gohan Survived Against the Androids in the Future Timeline. 
And until next time, stay cool and stay safe, my friends.